All right, make sure the alcohol has evaporated off your hands before you grab it clean, because it's not good for them. Um, backup tube and the clean holder. I'm going to try the APHIS engineering one. I've never tried it before, so grab a clean. What I really like, if you have access to it, is it like a big picture window. If you have a place where you, you can clean up the windowsill real easy, and just let them fly up against that window and run up and down, and they'll go potty a lot quicker. Um, I don't know if these have pottied or not. Have you guys been, been watching? been in there a while. Well, that's good. Sometimes it takes a little while. Yeah, she has. I think that's what I see over there in the floor. I bet I can get my hand down in there too. Yeah, the one of the jars is so tight. No, mine is. Your, yours is open. I don't know. I won't get my hand down there easy either. Just go ahead and knock her out before she has a chance to back all the way out. Because this tube's just a shade too small for her. She ain't liking that issue. In about two seconds, she won't care. Well, if you knock her out before she gets your butt out of there. I did. On you purpose. Because that, that tube's well, big enough. Well, you do use the tube then to push her out? Yeah, that tube's big enough. that Now, I watch when I'm doing it to make sure she don't have any legs or anything hung down in there. But that tube's big enough that she could have backed all the way through it. She's kind of a, she's a little bit small on the smaller side. But you actually push it down to where her head touches the metal tube and uh -huh. you force yes. her out. She push okay. her out. Yep. So maybe you might blind her. No, it won't. She'll be kind of worried about it. She'll be fine. 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 she will be fine 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 she
You can rearrange it there in a second. I gotta get the light on. So you won't give her an overdose? Huh? You won't overdose her? No. I've never overdosed one. <laughs> She's still moving. You ain't gonna knock down enough. She's breathing, that's all. Well, herein lies the problem with these big based microscopes. This ain't new. It's hard to get this in the right place where you can get the. Unless you have longer, I think yours has got longer arms on the lights. <clears throat> She needs it to stage in a curtain now. She's going to have one. And I think I'm going to need your light on there too, Keith. I'll wait until you get what you want. That was making a whole lot of difference on the screen over here. Is that pretty good focus there? That's focused, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You always want her facing like that, right? Yep. You want her back to be on the downhill side. Toward the needle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you see there's a little gap right there. That's where I'm going to Put the ventral hook in, but before I do that, she's not getting enough air bubbles or gas. How you know? She's, she's moving. moving. She's moving just a little bit more than I wanted to, and it could be too because there's such a large hole here. Passing by her. It's passing by her. All right. You almost she hit your needle. Hmm? I see. It. Hmm. That's going to have to be lower. Mm -hmm. I know. Alright, so see your stinger there? And I'll be able to show this better once I get a hold of it. Now Sue likes to work on the inside. See where I'm catching these in here? Mm -hmm. She says she has better control by working on the inside of the, instead of out here where the handles are. Me, sometimes I'll use, since I've had the back problems, my fine motor skills aren't what they used to be. So I'll use both hands sometimes. Alright, so, now see that sting? See, Keith, can you can I borrow your light for just a yeah, second? Yeah, I want to look at the camera. Yeah, go around there where you can see. Alright, so there's two pieces of flesh that runs up the side of the stinger. Mm -hmm. I try to avoid that flesh and just get a hold of the stinger. In this particular case, I think I got one little piece of flesh there on one side, but it's holding in such a good spot, I'm going to mess with it. Um, and when you lift that sting up, you don't pull it straight up. It's kind of up and over a little bit. You see here? It's hinged. So you're, you're hinging it out and back. It's, it's intended to hinge back like that. So, Keith, can you come back and hold the light for me? Let me ask you a question. It looks like she has two stingers. Yeah, what you're seeing is those two white things running up the side. Those are pieces of flesh. Okay, you shouldn't have that. 
you you shouldn't have a hold of it. I've got a, I barely got a hold of one of them there, but the other one's loose. It's just hey, you did. so. All right, <laughs> let's, let's get back to what we're doing. Well, that's what we need to see after. You hooked it up. That's all. So now that part of it's easy compared to that drone collection. I'm going to push just a little bit you know, more of no that problem, saline solution out the end. I, I don't want it. that much there. I better start out and just do a little bit. And then you do a little more until you get it where you know when to stop. All right, so I got you just a little bit there. Loose. Now, according to the folks at Aethis Engineering, on this particular syringe, three quarters of a turn is eight microliters. A whole turn is 12 microliters. So I'm going to aim to go, I'm not going to look at my measurement, it's also got measures there, but I'm just going to go like a little past three quarters of a turn. Jason, your needle is moving it's towards moving. <laughs> That's why it has a lock on it. It would drift, wouldn't it? Todd was getting nervous. I could see it. But you got to get the skin of his plane. And I also, no, no oh, she's fine. I, when I'm doing this, my schley's bad about drifting like that. And you'll notice I always put my finger up there just in case. Usually I'm not talking so much. All right, so where am I getting that slack from? This is the first time I've ever used the APHIS unit. So, yeah, I had to tighten this knob down to take the slack away. But now I'm slightly off. Let's try this. Okay. Where's the flap? There. We'll show you in just a second. Uh, Keith, your light, please. Can you hold it on her? A little higher. Hold it. There you go. All right. See, there's a V shape there at the base of the stinger. Mm -hmm. Behind that, on the other side of that, is the venom sac. So okay. you're going to plan to go down that V shape, and right in here is where the hole's at that you're aiming for. Turn that. I want to see that. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I, I'll look at it the next one. I'll look at the next one. You're going to do more than one anyway. Yeah, I want to do more than one. Yeah. All right, so next time I'm going to okay. slightly move my... See how I can turn the tip and tilt? Mm -hmm. So I'm moving it out a little, and I'm going to go right down here, and I'm going to lay it right in that V. See that V open up yeah. a little bit? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to go right on down. You can actually see the tip through the skin. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. I'm not in the skin. Right there is the skin. Mm -hmm. Now, like there's there. the valve fold is going to be right there. I'm going to lift this up some. See that pull up the skin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going down a little bit more. See how that's pushing in? Mm -hmm. I'm not past the valve fold. So I'm going to lift it a little bit more. Now there must ventral rip on loose. Can that structure be actually dried out? I mean has it over for any length of time what we see in there? No, it's I've I've uh, I've had people come and, and learn an AI the first time and have a queen under for like an hour before they finally got her inseminated and she still turned out to be fine. <coughs> there. See that? Yeah. Saw that. That time it went right on through and I just had to change the position of her sting. Now I want to push that air out of there. See? Mm -hmm. How easy that is to slip through there. Mm -hmm. All I had to do was change the position of her sting. And how far do you go on down in there? About like that, right there. Nope, oh, nope. Didn't go far enough. See a little bit of it came back out? Mm -hmm. And I'll just ease back up. As long as you don't touch it or it doesn't touch the outside of her, it's not contaminated. 
And of course, it's just about time I get that where I want it. The ventral hook lets go. I think y'all are right. I think it's the size of that tube is just too big for her. It's not holding her tail up correctly. Well, her body is able to move in it when you're when you're putting tension on. Well, she's almost shifted in there too. too. Mm -hmm. There we go. You got her. I do. I wasn't See, watching. That was done. I got on video. <laughs> <laughs> it actually slipped in about the time that you. You're and she's got hurt. enough sting there. She's not hurt at all. Yeah. She'd be just fine. Now, Mark before you five. before you pull <laughs> that out. Before you pull that back up out of there, you want to back it up just a little bit to take the pressure off so you don't squirt semen okay. out whenever you pull it back. So you just do it to and see it move? Done it anyways. Huh? Yeah, done it, squirt it a little bit out anyways. Not much, though. No. I understand we're looking at it. 30 magnification or so. <laughs> Is that more about not wasting resources? Oh, it, or yeah, it's hygiene? more about not yeah. wasting resources. Okay. That's what yeah, I all went back up. <laughs> no, it didn't. You sucked it all out of the needle. Right, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. I can push it back down. Okay. See? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Awesome. Now let's move. Yeah, you gonna kiss her? <laughs> no, but I might need a cigarette if somebody's got a I got a thing that's sitting up and burned up. Oh, uh, right. man, okay, Jason. <laughs> Do we need to throw you all the deals in there or anything? I need you to hold me a light, though. I'm sorry, bitch. Uh, in that box over there, my scissors. We'll make you one bigger. This is a left wing here, right? Uh, odd. Yep. So you clip odd, wing. Odd I cut the wrong wing off of the Purdue last year, so it don't matter. Yeah, of the wings come, right? <laughs> it don't matter. They still get out and swarm if they want to. That is. You go with the a number box on over. Yeah. Like, they walk away from wing, the wings. Hey, <laughs> me and Jackson both this year had made it or uh, breeder queens. Wing mm -hmm. clip. He had one fly around his head, both directions, with a wing clip. I had one fly around his head. The scissors ain't even working. <laughs> She's you got off. so many eyes on you, Jason. <laughs> see how you can raise it up and then just kind of fold it back? Damn. And see it make that V? <laughs> that looks like it hurt. You see that V shape? <laughs> yeah, I see it. <laughs> You're brutal, Jason. Hell. No, I'm not. <laughs> I've never killed a queen. Yet, damn that needle looks in the huge. Actual, in the actual process of doing this, I've never killed a queen yet. Uh, you just lost something. Yeah, there was a little bubble in the end. There's first time for everything. You know, even when I was learning, I never killed a queen. Now I'll probably make up for it this year. <laughs> Me and Keith yeah, were the tr whole trouble. We're blind one eye and can't see all the other. One. That's the problem. I'm like you, Keith. I ain't for sure with my camera that you couldn't just use the TV and do it. If it was on a TV, you wouldn't have that lag. See, it's getting the lag from where it's being hooked to the computer. I think I like that better than looking through the articles. I think I, I can see better. I can see through one, not two. All right, see that V? Yeah, you're right. I'm to try to lay that right in that V. Push your V up. Yeah, and then I go down. I have to go down a little bit more. Yeah, see that move down? Yeah, you yeah. push it like a pallet. Yeah, you're not there. You don't want to see that move. <laughs> I mean, 
now there, and then I go slightly up, and there should be the valve fold right there. Mike and me and who else less, he already got him. Make sure they got two rooms for us. Yeah. Sometimes I'll leave that set for a second, still sticking in the queen, because it doesn't flow through that tip as quick as you turn it here. So it'll still flow for a minute. And it'll probably almost siphon a little bit. Yeah, so I give it just a minute, and then I'll back it up slightly, and then I'll pull it back up. See how much easier that was with the schlay? Yeah. That says something for Slay. Plus you're used to working with that. Plus I'm used to working with Slay. Yeah. I should not have brought a brand new unit that I'd never touched before to try to show. Yeah, but you had to train. know. <laughs> you had to find out. You got a pair of sharper scissors. Mine are not. I didn't bring them scissors. Anybody got sharp? I didn't bring any of it. Well, I got some ones on my keychain. All right. Can you hold me? I no, I ain't got it. Too much of We'll try it with these again. I won't play no mark on that. I wasn't either. I was going to do it when I got home. <coughs> Maybe if I catch up closer to the base, I'll cut better. Yeah. Uh, is this uh, carbon dioxide knockout? Sufficient to get them started laying? No. no 24 yes. hours from now, they need another one. Need another a one. Seven okay. or eight minute dose. Probably eight. I already got some over here, Keith. Okay. Um, <coughs> yeah. What was your question? It's too long. Was this enough CO2? Yeah. Well, me and, me and Dale are going to have to talk. They, they get two doses of CO2. You knock them out twice. But they've changed it. Mike, why are you knock them out? Once to promote later. You got to do it again? You got to knock them out again? I expect you to do them in mass. And that does what? Mm -hmm. Makes them go to work. Okay. Makes them lay. Hmm. Can, can, you put, can you put all of those in one box and do them? 